Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm coming with another Christmas tutorial this time for this Christmas red bracelet and if you're new here it's a good idea to subscribe because I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets you also help me so much by liking, sharing and commenting this is a great an amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions and if you become a member of this channel you will also see a tutorial for this ring I did it especially for the members that I'm so grateful you are my inspiration guys if you want to know more about membership perks click the join button or check the link in description okay now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials for the bracelet okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 on seed beads red golden and green and i'm also using eight beads in golden color again this is a toggle clasp and two jump rings and this is nymon island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size d you could also use fire line 0.15 millimeters this is size 11 beading needle you could use size 10 or 12 whatever you have and here i'm using scissors and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and later i will add more thread and i'm going to start Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up two of those beautiful Ato beads. They will form the center of my bracelet. I'm sliding those down, but here guys, I will leave a small tail, let's say 10 inches or 25 centimeters, that I'll use to make a loop for my clasp later. And now, as I have those two, I'm going through one of them then backwards through the other and just to make them nice and tight standing next to each other i would like to go one more time through them now i have them touching side to side with the holes pointing in this direction then I need to take another ato, guys, and I'm going backwards through this ato, and then again through this bit, backwards, and like this. Okay, then I take one ato, go back through this one and backwards one more time here then again add one more bead the same way and reinforce one more time to make them stay nice and tight okay and again one more back through it and a reinforcement and i will do this guys until i have the desired length of my bracelet i will make it 48 times i will have 48 beads next to each other you could do it longer or shorter but make sure it is an even number of beads that you add okay i'll make my 48 beads and i'll be back okay guys and when i continued beading i added 48 beads the same way now i will show you how we continue I'm here at this point and I need to take a red bead, a golden bead and a red bead and I'm going in the next bead. After that I take three green beads 
and as I'm exiting here I go backwards through the golden and through one of the reds. Now I'm going to take five red beads and I will skip the golden one and go in the red in the following ato. And if you can in one movement also go through the green one. So red, ato golden, green. And I form this cute flower here. Okay, and here again I need five beads. You see, five of them. And I'm skipping this uh, green in the center and I'm going through the third green. And then I go only through the golden HO. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm going only through the neighbor golden ato, like this, not going through the green part or to the red part. And I go in the next golden. Now I will do the same thing, but I will flip the colors. Okay, I take three green beads and I go like this. Then I take a red, golden, red and I go here through the ato and through the following green. Okay, then I take five green beads, go backwards through the ato and through the red, just like this, and take five red beads again. And do the same thing, go through the red and through the ato, but not go in the green part. Then go here in the ato only again. And then I'm in a position to continue with my work. Okay, I take red, golden and red. Go in the neighbor ato. I take three green beads and go in the ato and in the red here. Then I take five red beads and I take five green and go the same way. Okay guys, and now my thread is almost over and I want to cut it and add a new thread. You see, it's not enough for two more elements. How I'm going to do this? Here I'm in after the first thread. You could choose a place wherever you want to make your knot. Okay, I'm here and I want to make a loop in a knot, go twice through it, pull it, then go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to cut this tail thread. Now guys I'm going to take another arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay my friends and now I have another long thread here on my needle about an arm span and I'm going to add it to my work and how I do this I go here through one bit that I choose okay I'm pulling and I'm holding here the tail thread with my thumb like this then what I do is that I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through the following bead and through the ato in the center and then I want to go in the next ato 
and in this way guys I'm in a position to start next element and now I'm going to cut this tail thread okay guys and I'll show you how I'm doing this element one more time as you see I zigzag with the colors I take red golden and red and I go in the neighbor one here then I take three green beads and I go through the ato and through the following golden and red and I take five red beads I skip the golden one go in the red in the ato and in the green one another cute flower five beads and skip the central and go in the next ato only through the ato neighbor ato and neighbor ato and now I'm in a position to start the next elements okay I'll do this until the end until I have 48 of those until I finish all of those atos and fill them in with flowers and leaves and when I'm at the end of my bracelet I'll be back okay guys and as I continued beading this is what I have I just finished this row of my bracelet and maybe you wonder why here you have two threads well one of those threads is the main thread that I'm working with and the other one is the tail thread that I left if you remember 25 centimeters or 10 inches they could go in one direction from this bead or cross in different directions depending on how you added thread during your work here in this direction with the main thread okay now I have this main thread here and I'll tell you how we continue with our bracelet okay I go here in this direction through all of those green beads and I want to exit in this green bead okay and I'll leave this thread for now like this and now as I promised I will show you how I'm making a loop for my clasp okay now what I want to do is exit in the next green bead and I take here six golden beads and I go back in the previous red and and I'm going to use my pliers here okay now I have this loop of beads done and what I want to do is to reinforce it okay and this uh, red bead is giving me a hard time I just can't go through it and this thread is not very long so I'm going to cut it how I do this I go in some beads here in this direction I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made then I will go through some more beads in this direction and I will cut this tail thread okay now I have a loop and my thread here from this side is cut and how I continue I take three golden beads and go in the next bead that is sticking out three more golden beads next bead that is sticking out three three 
three. Okay, guys, and when I reach the other part of my bracelet, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and when I continued adding beads the same way, this is what I have. Okay, let me show you. And here I am, my friends, at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads. Now, make sure that you don't pull too tight at this step because otherwise your bracelet will bend to one side. Just place them gently and make sure there is no tension. Okay, now what I want to do is, I think you guess what I need to do here. I, get, I go through the three red beads after that, through the HO and through the green one. And again, make sure there is no tension from this side and your bracelet doesn't bend. Okay, and I take six beads. I go back in circle through the red, ato and green. Okay. Then I reinforce. Now here I don't have knots or difficult beads. That is why it's easy to go around this loop of beads. And then what I do is that I go here through these three beads. I'm exiting through the middle bead that is sticking out the most. And I take three golden beads, go in the central golden, uh, uh, sorry, red, three golden, go in the central green, Again, no tension when you add them. Okay, now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end. And when I add the last three beads here, I will make a knot and cut my thread and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and when I continued beading, this is what I have. Here I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now I will do the familiar step of making a knot and cutting my tail thread. Then what I'm going to do, guys, is take my clasp, open up this jump ring and put it here. Then take this clasp and put it. And squeeze back. Okay, I'll do this from the other side and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and now my Christmas red bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe to see more of my content like these earrings that are a match to the bracelet and you will be able to make beautiful set. And uh, I also did this ring, which is done especially for the members of this channel. So if you become a member, you will see also the ring besides the bracelet and the earrings. And uh, if you want to know about the perks of the members, you could check description or the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.
Okay guys, and now my Christmas red bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe to see more of my content like these earrings that are a match to the bracelet and you will be able to make beautiful set. And uh, I also did this ring, which is done especially for the members of this channel. So if you become a member, you will see also the ring besides the bracelet and the earrings. And uh, if you want to know about the perks of the members, you could check description or the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now click on the video that you see on your screens. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the playlist that you see. Now click on the... Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.